Hi there. Wanted to uh, show you my project right now. I'm in my pole barn looking at a sub panel. Uh, not enough power to this pole barn and I needed to upgrade the power. So I was looking at this and then decided, man, what a mess. Um, not worth trying to mess with it in my mind. I wanted to kind of start fresh. So when I look at this uh, sub panel, first thing I pulled the panel off, there was a little mouse sitting down there smiling at me and about four inches of insulation and, and mouse bedding and mouse crap and you can smell the mouse pee, it's horrible. Anyway, evicted his ass out of there, got rid of all the insulation, uh, and you know, just really wanted to take a look and see how bad this really was, and it's bad. Uh, for starters, here's the main line coming in. This goes directly to the house. It's, uh, I think it's directly buried underground um, at some point, but it goes to the house, connects up to a 20 amp breaker, and that's 12-2 uh, wire. So there's only two wires coming out, there's a, a hot, a neutral, and a ground, okay? And the problem is they have the, the hot wire, you can see this black wire in the back there, it comes around and it hooks to the bus, but you can see, if you look at that bus, that there's another wire coming out of it. Well, that's the jumper wire. That wire comes out of the bus and hooks down below, and then they screwed it in the other side of that bus. So effectively turning this 110 volt circuit into um, you know, uh, it appears if it's 240, but it's not, it's really 120 um, with that jumper. So basically all they did is they energized both sides of the bus bar with the same line. When in a typical application, these bus bars are on two different, uh, two different uh, hots, 120 volts each. So, um, so that's a problem. I don't like that. It's certainly not getting enough power here. The other problem when I cleaned out the nest is I have some bare wire down here. Um, and again, it just smells horrible. Uh, so that's the other problem. You see that some of this Romex up top has been burnt. So these wires are getting hot, probably from that open circuit is what I'm guessing. I, but I mean, it could be a multitude of reasons. So um, that's all coming out. That's all going away. Don't have to worry about a 20 amp circuit going to this garage because we're going to add a zero on it and put a 200 amp circuit going to this garage. We're getting a separate meter installed and this is a 200 amp service panel you can see the main shutoff 200 and that's uh, 40 slots so obviously tons of space i'll never use them all but i uh, figured i'd get it it's not much more to, to get the bigger box just in case who knows talked about putting a lift in here and um, a bigger compressor and all kinds of fun stuff so anyway the box is mounted wires are up this is a uh, four odd aluminum um, so three four odd wires that are used to connect the service, 120 on each one, and then this is the neutral that's gonna come directly from the utility. Uh, that's running through a rigid nipple, that's a two inch by five inch rigid nipple, goes straight from here into the meter socket, which I'll show you. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that's okay. <laughs> I probably should have uh, consulted the, uh, the local municipality first, but I, I, th I hope that's okay. Um, other than that, I mean, pretty straightforward. Uh, I just gotta move some of these circuits over Probably won't move them all because I don't think I need them all, but I'll move most of them over into this box and uh, and get them energized here. But my biggest problem was really uh, getting a real good clear idea on the best way to mount the uh, meter socket because in looking online, I couldn't really find a universal way to do it. Um, a lot of people use that super strut, which is fine, and that seemed to be um, pretty cool stuff, but you got to buy it in eight foot sections and cut it and all that. And then secondly, I've heard that uh, it tends to oxidize over time and, and that oxidation will run down the side, uh, the siding and cause some staining. So definitely didn't want that. So I found these um, galvanized uh, bushings. These are pipe bushings. Um, this is for three quarter inch pipe to join two ends of three quarter inch pipe, but I just use them as spacers. So it gets the box off the house um, and it does a real good job. It's very, very sturdy. I have uh, obviously one spacer for each screw and I use these big construction fasteners. Those are long, I think five inch construction fasteners. They go into two by fours uh, on the other side of that uh, paneling. So um, other side of the siding, excuse me. There's two by four running across there. And then this is the existing two by, um, down here is the existing two by four that runs across. Um, so this is very, very, very secure. You could stand on it, it's not going anywhere. And then obviously running my cables up into their terminals. And again, hoping everything is good. So stay tuned. Uh, we got to call the inspector and get a thumbs up. And then consumer is going to trench and run a 300 foot cable um, to this thing. And then we'll be energized. So I'll let you know how that goes. Thanks.